panda can be used in two modes. The first mode is the CLI that extracts CSS when you use the panda-watch command. The second mode is the post CSS that leverages the post CSS runner and extracts CSS on demand without running any command. Let's use the post CSS approach to get started. First, install the panda CSS package by running the following command in your terminal. Next, we need to initialize panda in the post CSS method by running the command pmpm panda init p. You'll notice this generated a styled system directory, which is basically a set of functions to write styles. We've also generated two important files, panda.config and postcss.config. For now, don't worry much about these files will handle the configuration behind the scenes. Follow the next steps in your terminal, which are to create an index.css file in your projects that contains at layer, reset, base, tokens, recipes, utilities. And then import the index.css file at the root of your project. This organizes your CSS styles into different layers, ensuring a clean and structured approach to styling. Perfect! Now that everything is in place, we are ready to start using Panda in our project.